Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Initiation Ceremony of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi for California State University Stanislaus, Chapter 282. My name is Kathleen Hidalgo, Chapter President, and I'm honored to welcome you to this ceremony to celebrate your academic accomplishments. I recall the excitement and pride I felt when I was initiated as an undergraduate in 2011. Stanislaus State's Chapter 282 was chartered in 1999, and we have held a spring initiation ceremony ever since. Though we weren't able to meet in person this year due to COVID, we are thrilled to honor all those who accepted the invitation to join. We hope you have invited family members and friends to join us in honoring you through this virtual ceremony. You are among the best and brightest students at California State University Stanislaus, and you now belong to a family of high achievers, great minds and scholars from all areas of study throughout the country. And now our university president and Phi Kappa Phi member, Dr. Ellen John will share her welcoming remarks. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2021 Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society Induction Ceremony. Today, we are proudly celebrating our outstanding campus community members for joining the esteemed ranks of Phi Kappa Phi, one of the oldest and most prestigious honor societies in the nation. Membership in Phi Kappa Phi is by invitation only and is only for students with integrity, high ethical standards, and who are ranked in the top of their class. Faculty members who've achieved scholarly distinction are also invited to join. On behalf of the university, congratulations on becoming a member of a remarkable community of scholars and professionals who have distinguished themselves in positions of leadership and whose careers are characterized by outstanding achievement. When we talk about Stanislaus State, you often hear the term academic excellence. It's a goal that we strive for in everything we do. As members of Phi Kappa Phi, you embody and represent Stan State's vision of excellence. Admittance into Phi Kappa Phi is no small feat. Individuals invited to join are chosen based on superior scholarship and outstanding character. This year's class of inductees consists of nearly 90 warriors who are the creme de la creme of their class. They include seven juniors who rank in the top 7.5% of their class, 32 seniors who rank in the top 10% of their class, and 48 graduate students who rank in the top 10% of their class. We are also pleased to welcome two of our exceptional faculty members to the Honor Society, Dr. Mirta Maldonado, Assistant Professor of English, and Dr. Monica Flores, Assistant Professor of English. To all of our inductees, I offer you my heartfelt congratulations I hope this is a moment you will remember and cherish. To our students, membership in Phi Kappa Phi is an important credential. Be proud for attaining it and definitely put this achievement on your resume. You have earned it. And I hope you keep this in mind. 39 years ago, I was at a state institution like you are now. I went from the University of Michigan to Princeton for my PhD and never dreamed of being a president. And look where I am now. I'm here with you today as Stan State's 11th president. I want you to know that you can get there from here. As a Phi Kappa scholar, you can go on to achieve amazing success in your profession 
or field. You have it in you and you can do it. Again, congratulations and go Warriors. Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Todd, Executive Director of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. We are so pleased that you accepted your chapter's invitation to membership. You've been invited into a very special community of scholars. Your academic achievement earned you this recognition. To those who make the important decision to accept the invitation to join the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi, when you receive your degree, you are both entitled and encouraged to call yourself a Phi Kappa Phi graduate of your college or university. Once inducted into an honor society as a student, you remain a member the rest of your life. Active membership affords you a ready-made network of equally talented peers, a resume boost, career connections, and resources to support you in the ongoing learning that higher education promotes. Membership comes with more tangible benefits, including eligibility for some of the $1 million in awards and grants that Phi Kappa Phi funds each year for further study. Our motto, let the love of learning rule, is a commitment to the lifelong learning that is at the heart of this organization. The mission of Phi Kappa Phi is to recognize and promote academic excellence in all fields of higher education and to engage the community of scholars in service to others. We're proud to welcome you to that community and to celebrate excellence with you. Congratulations. I'm Taylor Whitehead, one of three current Chapter 282 student vice presidents, along with Hans Capistrano and Arlena Gavino. As a member of Phi Kappa Phi, there are many awards, grants, and benefits that active membership makes you eligible for, including chapter scholarships. You can find out about these through our chapter website and national website. Our chapter offers two scholarships to active Phi Kappa Phi members each year in the amount of $500 each, one to an undergraduate student and one to a graduate student who are continuing their education at California State University Stanislaus. I have been fortunate to have received the graduate scholarship in 2020. The chapter scholarships are announced each spring with applications due in May. In addition to the chapter scholarships, there are several national awards and grants to individuals and institutions exceeding $1 million every year. 200 Love of Learning Awards of $500 to support post-baccalaureate study and career development. 75 Study Abroad Grants of $1,000. This is currently on hold due to COVID. Literacy Grants up to $2,500 to champion literacy initiatives. 20 graduate research grants of up to $1,500 are available to provide funding for research. Every year, the Society awards 58 fellowships, ranging from $8,500 to $35,000 to members who are entering their first year of graduate or professional study. Each chapter may select one candidate from among its local applicants to compete for the Society-wide awards. Watch for announcements of the chapter competition next spring. 10 dissertation fellowships of $10,000 are awarded annually to doctoral candidates who are writing dissertations. I'm Dr. Allison McNally, Associate Professor of Geography in the Department of Anthropology, Geography and Ethnic Studies. There are also many membership benefits of being a Phi Kappa Phi member, including the following. Career assistance through the Career Center. Subscription to Phi Kappa Phi Forum, a member journal. Podcasts on educational and career related topics. Access to LINK, Phi Kappa Phi's exclusive online community to network with peers, share ideas, post questions, and search for other members. Online communities for professional and social networking. Discounts on hotels and car rentals, computers, mobile phone services, auto, home and health insurance, and more. Logo graphics for your CV or resume. And blue ribbon medallion to wear at the commencement. I always enjoy seeing my fellow Phi Kappa Phi members wearing the symbol of achievement during commencement. Congratulations to you as a new member of Phi Kappa Phi. Hello, my name is Janice Herring. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Kinesiology and Public Health Promotion and currently serving as the immediate past president of Stan State's Chapter 282 of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. I've also served as our chapter's treasurer, president-elect, president, and four times as chapter delegate to the biennial convention. Being involved as a chapter officer has allowed me to connect with members from all over the country, establishing friendships and academic connections that I would not have had otherwise. 
This segment of initiation ceremony is to tell you about the history and symbols of the society, the nation's oldest and most selective multidisciplinary collegiate honor society. In 1897, 10 seniors at Maine State University, now known as the University of Maine, led by Marcus Uran, envisioned a society whose membership would be open to any superior college student, regardless of the academic discipline that student pursued. Assisted by interested members of the faculty, they organized the Lambda Eta Sigma Society. A year later, the name was changed to the Morrell Society in honor of the sponsor of the Congressional Act that provided for land-grant colleges. In 1900, the presidents of University of Maine, University of Tennessee, and Pennsylvania State College, now Penn State University, became a national organization with these three founding chapters. It was then renamed Phi Kappa Phi from the initial letters of the three Greek words forming its adopted motto, which translated means, let the love of learning rule humanity. The badge of the society is a globe against the background of the sun, whose rays form an expansive corona and radiate in symmetrical and equal concentrations from behind the globe. These rays signify equivalence among the various branches of learning and represent the dissemination of truth as light. Encircling the globe is a band containing the Greek letters Phi Kappa Phi. The band symbolizes a bond that girds the earth and binds the lovers of wisdom in a common purpose. The seal of the society features the badge in its center. The badge is surrounded by a crenellated line representing the battlements and walls of Troy. In the space between this line and the periphery of the seal appear three stars just above the badge, one for each of the original chapters. Below the badge is the phrase, founded 1897. The ribbon of the society is a meandering pattern common in ancient Greek art that represents the classical features of the society. You'll notice these various symbols in the society pin and in the blue ribbon medallion that you have received. Currently, there are more than 350 chapters of Phi Kappa Phi located at universities from Maine to Hawaii and from Alaska to Puerto Rico. Our Stanislaus State Chapter 282 of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi was founded in 1999. And now we celebrate you in our 23rd annual initiation ceremony. We have a special guest speaker, a 1984 Stan State grad. Chris Murphy is the president and CEO of Sierra Pacific Warehouse Group and publisher and founder of Modesto View Incorporated. He earned his bachelor's degree in computer information systems and was involved in associated student activities. Chris worked globally in the cycling industry, then returned to Modesto in 1996. He's been highly involved in getting Modesto as a city on the stages of the Tour de California, a multi-stage professional cycling race with world-class cyclists. He is also the founder of the Modesto Historic Graffiti Cruise Route and Legends of the Cruise Walk of Fame, both a nod to George Lucas's iconic movie, American Graffiti. Modesto's Rockin' Holiday is another event that Chris has been involved in, and he is co-founder of the Modesto Area Music Association, presenting the annual MAMA Awards. In addition, he has been involved with the Modesto Music History Organization. Chris is a founding member of the Graffiti USA Museum and serves on the boards for MoBand, Gallo Center for the Arts, and Visit Modesto. Currently, he's also co-president of the La Loma Neighborhood Association and belongs to the Modesto Rotary Club. Named Citizen of the Year by the American GI Forum, Chris was honored for his community involvement. He married his wife, Rebecca, in 1985, and has two married daughters, Madison and Abigail, both graduated from Modesto High and UC Berkeley and are living and working in Modesto. He is leading, a lead, the lead singer and guitarist for his band, Third Party, that donates their performances to nonprofits 
and he enjoys providing creative projects to make the community more interesting. Let's welcome Chris Murphy. Hi there, this is Chris Murphy here from Modesto View and Sierra Pacific Warehouse Group here in Modesto, California. You are really with an exciting time right now. Who would have ever thought that your college experience would be like this at the moment? You know, we're coming in of amazing COVID, you know, experience where we've all learned so much, so many things have changed, but still the importance of a college education has never been greater. You're part of Phi Kappa Phi, which is so amazing. You're the top students in your school. And that says a lot about who you are and what you've learned and what you've accomplished so far. And more importantly, what you want to, who you want to be. This is an exciting time. No matter how it's happened or we've been on, on campus, off campus, ready to graduate, not ready to graduate yet, this is something that you've really taken opportunity to learn from. The rules have changed and you adapted with them and still here you are, ready to conquer the world. I believe it. CSU Stanislaus is a great place to do this and you will have an amazing accomplishment. You know, the campus there with President Jun is super well run. I couldn't believe when I went back to the campus last year, how it's grown from the small place it was when I graduated back in 1984. It seems like a million years ago. So it was kind of fun. You know, it's a great time to be there. But you know what? what's coming nobody knows and that almost makes it pretty interesting the rules are gone the norms that used to be there are different now so what it does is it gives you an advantage because you're there learning you're there trying to accomplish and really trying to make a difference of what you want to do if it's taught us anything we have to be ready to adapt and adapt is what you're doing and I'll tell you what, with the education you're getting, you're going to be well set for the future. It's really amazing. It was crazy. Just a year ago, St. Patrick's Day, the world just started shutting down. It felt like you're going down the hallways and get smart where the doors are coming behind you as it kind of shut down. You didn't know what to do. No one knew what to do. I'm in the warehousing and logistics business. We have we were serving our customers. We're the food warehousing. So as the world shut down, our business stayed open. And it was a challenge for us because there were no rules. There were no guidelines. Guidelines. How do you manage a logistics industry during the middle of a pandemic? These are things you have to learn and continue to learn. So what you're doing now is preparing you for the future and your love of learning is going to make sure you're successful because trust me, it never stops. You know, so that we're looking at a way to go forward and a way to do it pretty interesting. But what is college really? It's, I kind of looked at it as a buffet. You're going down the line. Wow, there's all the cool stuff. There's the mashed potatoes or the multiple slices of pizza. That's what college is. You're picking out the tools. You're going down the shopping cart. You're grabbing things. I need this tool, this valve, this thing. I need this skill. I need this knowledge. I need to read this book. That's what you're doing in college right now. You're preparing yourself for whatever happens down the line. And love to read, love to write. You're going to be researching some of the greatest things out there. You're going to have the most wealth of information out there. So I really believe you're going to do something great. You know, it's all changed right now. And you really have to focus on having a good time. You've got, we're coming out of COVID. So I think there's some opportunities as you kind of revisit your education. I had a total blast at Stanislaus State. It was a lot different when I went there. We had moms on campus. We had Warrior Day. Just a couple of, we had just the major business building and the science building, the library and the arts building, which is where I started. I started as an art person, I was an artist. I want to go into advertising. So I was going into commercial art. I was over in the art wing taking classes. But then along the line, I discovered computer coding. So I started writing COBOL, Fortran, RPG programs and just loved it. I just loved the analytic way programmers thought. And I just was able to connect the dots that way. So my art built into programming, which then took me to my senior year, where our project was as a business computer information systems graduate, our senior project was to basically build the PC lab in the, in, the build, in the business building. So that was some really cool ways to begin a new era in technology. So we got to do that at Stanislaus State. So we totally dug it. So here's what happened. So I got getting out of the school, I had a chance to work at Intel or IBM, but I had took a job at Raleigh Bicycles because we we're going to build a factory in Seattle. I was racing bicycles. I live bicycles. I was riding every day because cycling was my passion. I live cycling 450 miles a week. My girlfriend at the time lived cycling with me. We went to bike races. We got married, worked for a cycling company. I worked for a cycling company in Japan called SR Sakai. Then I worked for Specialized Bicycles as director of global marketing. And it was bikes. It was bikes on the weekends, bikes with the friends, bikes at home. So my passion became our lives. And so, which is when you look at the balance of what you want to do, it's really good to be passionate about what you want to do. But at the same time, 
we have to look at that life balance and say, well, how does this balance out? Did my passion consume the rest of our family? So in 1996, I made a complete change and joined our family's logistics business, which is warehousing and distribution. I knew nothing about it. I had an idea how it works. We had a supply chain that specialized. I knew how these things operated, but I had never done it. So what did I have to do? I had to start learning again. I learned an entirely new career, how to build this business, how to grow the business, how to take care of the customers, navigate government regulations. So many things I learned every single day. And to this day, I'm still learning, especially with what happened last year with COVID, because I had to learn every single time I went to work. Every single Zoom call was education and learning for me. I wouldn't regret my change in career at all. It changed everything. My family, working in my kids' school. I rediscovered what it was like to have a hobby. I was always been a musician, had no time to be in a band when I was in cycling. But when I joined my family's logistics business, Sierra Pacific, now all of a sudden I had times for a hobby. I started playing music, started getting involved. And then what happened, a couple of friends that I was involved in wanted to we need to rebuild the Grisada Park playground. So in, back in 1998, we got together, went and raised a bunch of money, met with the city council, rebuilt Grisada Park. And then once we did that, then we started working on rail banking for the Virginia Corridor. So today, the Virginia Corridor you see started with a rail banking project back in 1999. So it's amazing how these things happen. And what, why did it happen? Because my passion became my community. My passion became my family. And I found a new live work life balance that took my passion and blended it with my community. So these are things you can really accomplish with what you want to do. And you can keep on learning at the same time. And I've had fun rocking and rolling downtown Modesto with the Ralston's goat. And, you know, along the way, then we created what was called the Mama Awards. We celebrated local music doing a black time uh, entertainment and award show at the state theater or live. So we've done things like the Mom Awards, and now we're championing on our American graffiti history with the Modesto Graffiti USA Museum. So these are all things that just one step another, one more thing you learn, one more person you talk to, one more interesting experience or conversation, even over cocktails or whatever, can lead you in a new direction. Why? Because my favorite character trait of anybody is curiosity. And kids and adults and when I meet adults who aren't curious, I really don't need to be their friends because if they don't want to expand and learn, curiosity, I believe, is very important. And it's right with your Phi Kappa Phi mission of learning to love for humanity. So don't forget to be curious. And that's the kind of thing is part of cu being curious is also listening. I like to talk a lot. My problem is listening. It's a skill that I have to practice all the time to listen more than I talk. And I trust me, it is a challenge. And so, but I learn the most when I listen. I accomplish the most. I, and I'm more fulfilled when I listen, when I learn something about somebody else or someplace or something I didn't know, the fulfillment you get when you fill your head with new information is just irreplaceable. And that's where you are in your college situation right now. You're filling your head with amazing information and take advantage of every single little bit of it. So one thing you'll find out is that's my yin and yang. You listen and learn. You got to make sure you do those, those couple of things. But Get involved with your community. Moving forward, make sure you get out there. Make sure you make a difference. I know you're set to do that, but don't be afraid. It's great to get involved with communities, whether it's here in Modesto, Turlock, or wherever you're, you're going to live or wherever you came from. Don't be afraid to get involved. One thing I've learned is one of the many things I've learned, actually, it's okay. A lot of people like to talk. A lot of people like to make criticisms. A lot of people throw rocks. It's a lot easier to do that. It's tougher to get involved to make a difference. And that's a challenge. And I know you can do it because that's when I've been the most rewarded is when I've taken the time to get involved, make a difference, make a change and find a way to change other people's lives because it makes your life more valuable when someone else has a, has a really transformation of what they're doing right now. And most importantly, tell the truth. Be straight with everybody. Tell them what you think. Tell them how, what's the good, what's the bad, you know, and how we can all make this work together. And part of that's the honesty, honesty with your friends, your coworkers, your family, and people in the community of what can be done, what's possible, and what you can really accomplish. But don't let that make you stop dreaming. Dreaming is important. Big ideas are great. Cocktail napkin sketches are my life ways to do things different, change things, make a smudge, 
It's the magic dust. It's the magic dust you sprinkle on your own life that's going to make it really powerful for you as you move forward. Make your own magic dust. Make sure that you listen. Make sure that you follow your passion, but balance your passion with your life. It's okay to have a job that you may not absolutely love as long as you're being fulfilled in a, in a variety of different ways. But the most important thing right now is get all the tools you can for whatever kind of career you might want to go into. It's okay to not know what you're going to do. And it's okay to change your mind. And it's okay to charge, chart a different path because out of this education at CSU Stanislaus, you're going to have that skill. So keep on dreaming. Always brainstorm. God, I love brainstorming. How can you, what if, if then, what, yes, and. These are really powerful statements to use around your friends and keep dialogue going along those lines. Because if you keep dreaming, you have a great education, you'll find the right kind of people that share your vision, and then you truly can have it all along those lines. At the same time, be successful. Because one thing I know about a CSU Stanislaus education and graduation and diploma down the road, wherever it's one year, two years, or three years from now, you can really accomplish amazing things. So I'm, I'm proud of you all, excited for you all. Congratulations on your position in this university and best of luck for everything you try to accomplish. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Have a great day and thank you for this honor to be able to speak to you today. I'm Dr. Scott Davis, professor in the Department of English here at California State University Stanislaus. I've served previously as Chapter 282 President, where I joined my distinguished faculty and staff colleagues of Chapter 282 in this position. It was one of the great honors of my professional career, and next year I'll try to live up to that again. I urge you to think about how you can best serve the Order once you're a member. I would like for the candidates for initiation to join me in learning the Society motto. These letters, Phi Kappa Phi, they're an acronym a way of remembering the society motto. And this exercise will require active participation, even in this virtual setting. So say it out loud, wherever you are, say it like you mean it. I won't be able to hear you over this platform, but you need to say the words out loud. You need to hear yourself saying them to appreciate their power. It's how rhetoric works. The first word of the Phi Kappa Phi motto is philosophia. Please repeat after me. Philosophia. Well done. The society translates this Greek word as the love of learning. The second word of the motto is krateto. Again, repeat after me. Krateto. Great. Krateto is a verb. It means to rule. And in our motto, the word has the form of a strong exhortation demanding that we let the love of learning rule. The third word of the motto is photon. Again, repeat after me, photon. Excellent. This word often occurs in ancient Greek poetry and drama, and it signifies human, but with the sense of mortal beings in contrast to the immortals. In our motto, it refers to all humans, gender irrelevant. So we translate it simply as humanity. Thus, in saying the society motto, Philosophia Crateto Photon, you are calling on yourself and others to have your lives ruled by the love of learning. And whenever you say Phi Kappa Phi, you're reminding yourself about that motto. So say it one more time. This time say it with me. Philosophia Crateto Photon. Outstanding. Initiation is for life. Once initiated into the, into the society, you will always be a member of Phi Kappa Phi. To be classified as an active member and to continue to receive the many benefits of the society, we encourage you to pay your national and your local Chapter 282 dues every year. I urge you to maintain active membership, not just as a means of per personal fulfillment, but as a way of helping to sustain the prestige and to support the activities of your honor society Phi Kappa Phi and your local 282 chapter here at Stan State. And if you're interested in serving chapter 282 or the society, contact me and I'll help you out. Hello, my name is Dr. Diane Vargas and I teach in advanced studies counselor education. For the past two years, I have served as our chapter's student affairs coordinator. 
As a multidisciplinary honor society, in accordance with our national and chapter bylaws, the top 7.5% of juniors, top 10% of seniors, and top 10% of graduate students in every department program have been invited to join the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. As part of our ritual of initiation, please stand and repeat after me the Society's affirmation of membership. In response to the honor bestowed on me by my election to Phi Kappa Phi, I shall continue to uphold the motto of Phi Kappa Phi. Let the love of learning rule humanity. And now, please enjoy the scrolling of names of new initiates, beginning with two faculty candidates who were nominated and affirmed by Phi Kappa Phi membership by virtue of their strong academic records, their scholarly research, and their commitment to student success. Then follows an alphabetical listing of 86 juniors, seniors, and graduate students who accepted the invitation to join.
by virtue of your superior scholarship, what you have achieved and who you are, it is now my privilege to declare you to be members in good standing of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. May you continue to merit this high honor, never complacent, ever seeking the realization of the society's motto, let the love of learning rule humanity. Our university provost and Phi Kappa Phi member, Dr. Kimberly Greer will provide closing remarks. Hello, my name is Kim Greer and I'm the provost and vice president for academic affairs at Stanislaus State. And it is my honor to join you all here this evening uh, for the Phi Kappa Phi initiation ceremony. I was asked to briefly tell you um, what a provost is or what my, my role and responsibilities are on campus because a lot of people don't know what a provost is. Um, briefly, it's the chief academic officer for the university, which means that the provost has responsibilities related to the curriculum, instruction and research that occurs at the institution, at the university. Um, I have responsibilities, obviously, for budget, for leadership of all academic activities and programs, but obviously I do this work with a lot of other people, with deans of colleges, with faculty, with other administrators across campus, and simply, I like to think of it as I am the person who has responsibilities along with all these other individuals for the success of students and the success of faculty. And obviously a person in the role of provost or the chief academic officer on a campus is someone who very much believes in the motto of Phi Kappa Phi to think about having a life ruled by the love of learning is, um, is a motto, is a philosophy um, near to my heart and certainly very much at the forefront of value for, for faculty who teach at universities and students. And I like to think of myself as someone who has developed a life based on that love of learning and the exploration of new ideas, new perspectives, new information, new skills. And so it's wonderful to welcome you in uh, to the group that has that philosophy at, at its foundation. I hope as you go throughout your careers, as you continue on here at the university and after graduation into your uh, careers, after leaving Stanislaus State, I hope this love of learning, this belief, uh, this desire to maintain your intellectual curiosity never diminishes. I hope it only grows because I think it leads to a very fulfilling life to love learning, to stay curious, to stay engaged with the world. And certainly during the pandemic, I think we've learned many things but one of the things I certainly have learned and, and I think others have, have as well, it's how important science and new information, new facts, um, new data is to all of us. It's what led to vaccines and changing the trajectory of our future. And hopefully this time next year, we'll be able to conduct um, ceremonies in person back on campus. I thank you so much for joining us um, here this evening. And um, it is my uh, privilege to close out um, our time together here this evening. Um, we are so very, very proud of our own chapter here at California State University Stanislaus. Um, to recognize the scholarly endeavors of faculty, administrators, staff, and students through election to the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. New members and prospective members are encouraged to remain active in Phi Kappa Phi and to continue in your quest 
of knowledge and academic excellence. Your status as a member of Phi Kappa Phi is noted in the commencement program when you complete your degree. I'd like to close by thanking all the family members and all the friends of initiates for sharing in this special occasion with all of us. We know that you too are very proud of their accomplishments, as are we. Thank you for being uh, part of this great tradition. <clears throat> Excuse me, this concludes the 2021 virtual initiation ceremony of Stanislaus State's Chapter 282 of the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Thank you very much and take care. <laughs>